live? Yeah, I'm live. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm a couple minutes late. I was early to the last one. Hang on. I got to throw more light on this. More light. Okay. Hopefully that's better. I, I thought it was one and it was noon earlier, so I apologize for that. And then I got caught up in emails and I was late for this one. It's good to see you. We have a great show today. I got great prizes to give away. So very excited about that. Let's see. Oh, Samson here. He finally made a live one. The good to see you, Samson. Oh, Dan Johnson's here from Oklahoma. The stream made it all the way to Oklahoma and Boulder's 49. That's about what it is now here. So that's pretty nice. It's finally warming up. Wired equipment from Decatur, Texas. It's funny because I don't, I'm assuming it's Decatur. Like what is it, Georgia? But I know that sometimes you go in another state or something, the, the, the words... They're pronounced, it might be Decatur, but I'm assuming it's Decatur. In upstate New York here, we have a ton of those where they take another city's name and they and they mispronounce they they pronounce it differently. We do you have any of those in the state you're living in? Like we have oh, there's so many. There's like Athens, New York, but it's pronounced Athens. There's uh there's so many Cairo, but it's pronounced Cairo. Ch Chi Lai instead of Chile. Chi Lai. <laughs> we have a we have a lot of those here. I wonder if there's other ones there. You can tell who's from there or not by the way you say the the word. Athens. Corey finally made it. <laughs> Never seek. You're supposed to give me them banners today. Oh, Samson got a $20, $20 super fan. Samson is super fan. Maybe he'll win today's contests. He'll be the big win. I got to rig the, I got to rig the contest thing. <laughs> VJ Ocampo is here. That's great. Oh, look at everyone today. I got to go back into Smith Digital Services is here. Banger, Maine. Nice. See, banger, right? It's banger. I also know it's Oregon. It's Oregon, right? Not Oregon. It's Oregon. 45 in banger. I'm surprised. Wow. Yeah, this is the same. We just got bombarded with snow last week and now it's all gone. It's almost all gone. There, there just may be, David. There just may be. <laughs> 70. That's cold for, for Southern California. That's cold over there. Great to see you last Maui. It's always beautiful in Maui. Always beautiful in Maui. Um, oh, Shikenia's here. Actually, Shikenia, I have your... I got to send them out. I got to have your extras here. I got to send them out. I just got to put the address on there. I'll get them out today. Shikenia just did a mailing. Michelle is here from Ohio. It's great to see you in Ohio. Fred's in northern Georgia. Georgia. I want to do the Appalachian Trail sometime. That's where I got to start. I got to start in Georgia. I want to do the Appalachian Trail and I want to bike across America. San Diego. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, I have no desire to. I'd like to visit California, but no desire to live there. I hear Northern California is really nice. We're at Palmer Lake, Colorado. I hear Colorado is really nice, too. We are. We are on. Oh, who's this? Kevin's here. Joey's on here. Good. It's great to see you. Oh, it's great to Sacramento. Not too far from Corey Pebbler. Corey Pebbler's somewhere near there. So isn't Sacramento and San Francisco are kinda 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 close? Grand Rapids, Michigan. The, the state with all the lakes. Kali 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 Kalas Kali. Gillette, Wyoming. I've always wanted to go to Wyoming. Always. I hear it's real windy. Dur Durant. And it's Durant. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. We have a West we have a Westmoreland here. And you can pronounce it Westmoreland or Westmoreland, you can tell. If they're from there. Uh there's yeah, there's a lot of those. There's a lot here. There's a lot of Indian names that are really hard, like Native American names that really trip people up, like Ilian and Scatacoke, Rensselaer, Schenectady. If you're not from there, you couldn't even you couldn't even begin to pronounce these. Worcester, don't they say Worcester? But we have a we have a Worcester. We have a they don't say it East. 
I, um, just south of me, there's a Worc- Worcester, New York. I don't. I think they say Worcester. I think they. It's it's spelled like this. There's like East, and I've been there many times. It's a little tiny place, and I can't remember how they pronounce it. If it's Worcester, it's not Worcester, like how I know they do in Massachusetts. Bangor. Marietta, Georgia. I'd like to go to Georgia too. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I got some small business rescue squad ones. Seventy. That's that's cool weather in Vegas, isn't it? I always want to see the de- the desert too. You you're welcome. Oh, Sarah's here. Sarah made my it's our 18th anniversary today. Me and Sarah's 18th anniversary. We're closing in on 20 years. 18th. Gas in the Corona. NorCal. Gonna have a interstate war here with Bob Well here with the northern and southern with the Bay Area, right? The Bay Area. Macon, Georgia. Macon, right? Macon. That's where Frank Kern's from, isn't it? My boy Frank Kern. McGloose McGuntick. That's got to be a, a Native American place. Schenectady, yeah. I, I worked in Schenectady for a while. Schenectady, old Schenectady in Niskiuna. Niski right next to it. George, great to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. Look at that hair. George the Greek. Yasu. I oh, see that. She probably left the chat by now. She pops in and says, says hi. <laughs> yes, correct. Partner for life. 100%. We have a great, we have a great, I'm just throwing that out there. I appreciate that $20. Just got paid some cash on some senior signs too. I should talk about that, but we're not doing that. I love the cash. I love the cash. Hip replacement. Oh boy. A new hip. At least it's a titanium one, right? Titanium. I'm not a beer drinker. Can't stand it. I think it tastes so gross. I like wine. I can't beer. Oh, just can't, can't. But I'll drink the ciders. The hard ciders are fine. Um, I didn't know you lived in New York. I didn't know you lived out there. Oh, she's still here. We're talking about cheapest advertising, and what I have, we're, that's that's what we're gonna. So, uh, in a moment, we'll bring that up. But if you have ideas that you want to share with people for very cheap, cheap local advertising, that's the topic of today's show. But I did want to shout out, big shout out to Aaron Bush in Syracuse. He's probably not on here, but Aaron came by and picked up ten thousand beautiful nine by twelves last week, and he said I could, I could show them off but these are his his beautiful 9 by 12 so congratulations aaron who put out his first 9 by 12 first of many 9 by 12 cards just uh, about an hour away from me he did a great job they look great i hope to see many more so i wanted to shout shout him out if you haven't checked out 9 by 12 system you should joey says what's the thinnest thickness the manly ddm if i knew that question was coming i would have grabbed some it's a gray area because you can send, they allow you to send 0.007 inches thick, which is very thin. It's like, they say it's about the, the thickness of three sheets of copy paper, but there's no postal office under the sun. Retail post office that has a micrometer, anything to measure that. So you could technically, you could th- put copy paper and it will probably go through. You can send hundred pound cover, which is qualifies and that's a really thin postcard stock that's equal to 10 point cover stock um you can say you can send 80 pound cover that's i think that the thinnest technically you can send is 80 pound cover stock it's a very thin stock it's still pretty nice but you can also send flat you can send thick 100 pound flyers we do it all the time we even send 70 pound letterhead often and never a problem so it's gray area suge i say that right suge that is a cool name Community parades. Thank you. Thank you, man. It is. But there's no, po- there's no, you will never find a postal worker with a micrometer. You'll never find one. They'll, they all have no, if you are doing bulk mail where it goes through machines and sorting, then you have to, you have to stay within certain thicknesses. But EDDM is, uh, there's, there's no way to measure the thickness. You can go up to a quarter inch thick and they can, they shove it through this thing to make sure it's, not too thick, but they have nothing to show of thinness. So you can really send whatever you want. 
gray area. Technically 0. 0.007 inches. Uh, what else did I, oh, the solar eclipse. Is anyone seeing the solar eclipse tomorrow? I want to see the, we're in 99% totality, but we can go like 20 minutes away and be in a hundred. And I guess there's a huge difference. I want to do it, but I don't really know where to go, but it's, we're in the line of totality. I don't know if anyone else is, but I, I guess the next solar eclipse will be in 2079 or something, but I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. 100 pound tech smooth for Mac. Yeah, definitely. You can do, you can use that. 100%. I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers too on YouTube. So I'll be tooting my own horn for that. I'm almost to 5,000. Seems like yesterday I was almost to 2,500. Now I'm at 5,000. Next stop, 10,000. I'll have to do something big for that. I'm only a couple hundred away. I need every subscriber I can. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It is. Oh, that's good. Double subscribers. No, I think it's on the East Coast. I think. There's this line of totality. Line of totality. Oh, nice. On the first time, my six and a half. Yes. Very excited for you. Very excited for you. What's the other thing? Oh, I wanted to mention this too. Wonder if you guys have seen this. I saw, I see it on my Facebook all the time now. There um, must be the big one, breakout clips. You guys seen this? Breakout clips. I think it's cool for Facebook ads. It definitely stands out. I think it'll probably get overdone, overused, but I think for now, I, I wouldn't, I think you should do this. If you're gonna run Facebook ads, I think you should do this. I'll, I'll share my screen quick to throw it up there. I wonder if anyone else has seen this. I haven't seen one come through my, my Facebook feed yet of a business advertising it, which is a good sign, but I see the actual company advertising and they catch, they catch you really good. I think it's here. Have you guys seen this? They pop out. You see that? They pop out. They put like an image. It's all in one image, but it pops out like the things pop out. Where I keep seeing the dinosaur one on my feed, and that's really cool, but it's not it's not uh showing me it on here. But I see that one in my it's a it's a T-Rex that shoots out. Then they have some creepy thing coming out. Oh, there's the was the T-Rex. Have you guys seen that? I think that's really cool. I think that's different, unique. If I was running Facebook ads, I would go with one of these. They say it's about four bucks or something. I thought that was pretty cool. It's tomorrow. Wait, I thought it was tomorrow. Isn't it tomorrow? I mean, look at the days mixed up. I thought it was tomorrow. I was all freaking out trying to figure out where <laughs> it's tomorrow. Listen, don't listen to me. It's probably April 8th. I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy. That's man. I am. I am shot. Shot. <laughs> I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy. Joshua Volts is here. Good to see you, Josh. Hope you get your NFC card any moment. Yeah, but this one's a solar, the solar eclipse. Did anyone see these? I thought they were cool. Am I the only one? Let's, what Lucy says in Southern Indiana. Yeah, remember the May 5th? I remember that 2012, May 5th or 12th or something, the world was gonna end. Yeah, it probably will. <laughs> uh, let's talk, let me put a banner up here. And we will do some contests, but let's talk about cheap ways to advertise. I'm all for whatever. If you've got suggestions, put them up in the chat. Cheap, just what are the cheap ways to advertise a local business? Throw them all out there. Some are good, some are bad, some are great. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the best, the best was you remember, I, you may not been around for a while, but I used to, my pen name was Bob Ross for a long time. 
I use the pen name Bob Ross, long story. But people were buying my products and stuff, just thought, you know, Bob Ross. And way back, this is like 2013 or 12 or something, Google put happy birthday, Bob Ross. You know, when they do their like little pixelated images and they put Bob Ross and people, my inbox was just like overflowing. People are like, how did you get on the front of Google? I can't believe it. You got on the front of, <laughs> like I'm not the, then I would get emails of like, I used to watch you as a kid. Cause this is before video really got, so I, I was never making videos. Um, my YouTube actually goes back to 2011 or 12, but I wasn't really making video content. I was late to that. So people didn't really know what I looked like. And they just were like, oh man, I used to watch you on TV. And then one guy was like, you're, I just found out you've been dead for, for 20 years or something. And you're saying you're alive. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not the Peter Bob Ross, but that was funny. It made me think of that. Bar coasters. We're going to do these great contests too. What is this? Say? I already blown. With, yeah. Yes. Tie it right in. Tie it right in. Cars. Yes. I had that on, on my list. That's a, that's an excellent one. Car, car signs. You should probably consider getting something on your car. It's free advertising, whether that's a magnet, whether that's a bumper sticker, whether that's some kind of decal on your, on your window, even a cling, you know, we can do clings. If you want something, if you want sticker, a sticker to put on your car or windshield or anything, I am more than happy. I don't care if it's one of them. I will, you make it, I'll do whatever. You can do clings that cling on the inside. So you don't even have to worry about damaging anything. You can do outside removable vinyl, whatever. You should probably consider whatever your business is doing something on your vehicles. It's just a, it's free advertising. But 100%, especially when you're remodeling, home services, realtor, you should probably get that, get your business on there. Unless you drive like crazy, because you don't want people saying, oh my God, there's that crazy driver, because that can work in reverse. Just says bar coasters. That's a good one. I didn't, I didn't have that on my list. That's a, that's a great one. Bar coasters. That's a really good one. Email. 100% email. You got to be, just be careful. You're not spamming, <laughs> but, uh, if you're doing it cold, but you should also have a list that you can, even, I use Aweber. There's, there's a lot, there's constant contact. And, um, is there still the monkey one? Remember that one? It used to be like free. A lot of businesses used to use it. I don't know if they still do or not. Monkey. It was something monkey can't remember it now monkey mailer or something it was free a lot of businesses use that i don't remember that one i spent 300 dollars to brand my ramp and turn pretty good oh that's that's nothing yeah yes and you can see right where they if they come from you can throw a qr code on things uh, that url you can see where it's coming from excellent very smart community parades oh that's what you ever yeah oh that's great that's a great that's a great one I'm glad to have you guys on here because those are some things that I just never would have thought about that. Yeah, get in the parade, give the candy out, you have the, the car, a float. You get to design a float. That's excellent. We got to do a, a contest here. I'm going to give, let me, let me set it up. I think we're going to do three. Is it giveaway? I can never remember. Yeah, it's giveaway. I'm going to give 250 business cards away. So I will give you 200. Let's do this. I got to share the screen. Hang on. How do I share it? Share screen. There we go. Free cards. Hashtag free cards. Just type that in. I will print 250 business cards for you on nice thick 16 point glossy or matte doesn't matter card stock you give me the design make them on canva make them whatever I'll, I'll send you 250 free cards who's gonna be the winner just hit hashtag free cards free cards 250 of them free you gotta be in the united states though i could ship these things international it cost me a fortune no there's no hair under this hat 
I wish I had big afro. I wish. Yeah. Oh, George, good to see you. Yeah, George's got a, George's got a, um, dude, it's crazy. I answer emails. Uh, if you were to track my e time answering emails, you would be in probably the, probably the 10 hour a day between in front of the computer and on phone, uh, through the night. It's not a healthy habit, but I am on, I can't sleep at night if something doesn't go answered. And, and we also have Leanne who is, she should be watching this, but she won't be. She is now with me. She's been with me for a while and she's outstanding. So she's on top of emails. We have Megan, we have Jane, we have Jaden. And between all of us, I'm still spending a good eight to 10 hours on every single day, seven days a week on email. It's not, it's not healthy, but it's, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm, I'm on this deal right here. George is doing a big one. What are you doing? 30,000, 30,000 postcards? Plaques, plaques. Where do you put a plaque? Like a like a winning plaque, like a like an award plaque. You gotta expand on that. Oh, it did the. That's right. I forgot. I have the gestures. I forgot about that. Yeah, I do magnetic signs all the time, all the time. Who's gonna win this? Let's ru let's run this. Let's see who's gonna win. Who's going to be the winner of 250 cards? I don't know if Jane's watching this. She probably isn't. Who is going to win 250 free business cards? It is Brian Judd. My man, Brian Judd. Send me an email. Just send me an email, jake at printingforsupercheap.com or highresponsemarketing.com, whatever. I'll get you 250 business cards for free. You got it. Good job. I almost seen Jeremy Root win that one. I almost seen Shekenya almost won it, but Brian came in. And took it. Well, the other things we're going to give away later, I'm going to give away. What am I giving away? I got to pull it up. My computer screen's right here. People freaked out when they could see it in the camera. They freaked out. So I had to move it away. Oh, I'm going to give. Oh, why did I write that? I'm going to give two products away. I'm going to give. We have a good turnout. Oh, yeah, we got good turnout. So if everyone's saying here, I'm going to give the whole nine by 12 mastery course out to someone lucky, the whole thing. That's a $275 course. I'm going to give that one. Someone's going to win that one. And, and you better do a nine by 12 card with it. And I'm going to give away my print from scratch guide. That's one I released maybe a year and a half ago or so. And it's one of my favorite guides, but I didn't do a good job promoting it. So I think yeah, people bought it at the time and then I just never, Never really promoted it again, but it's a great, it's a great guide. Print from scratch, highresponsemarketing.com slash print. I think you can, will take you to the sales page. It's how to sell print. You can do a whole side hustle, help business owners. You can do so, any age selling print, brokering it. You don't need any equipment, nothing. It's a fantastic guide, but I'm going to give that one away too. MailChimp. That was it. That was it. MailChimp. Is that still around? It's gotta be. Mailchimp is evil. Maybe. I'm out of the loop with that. I've been with AWeber forever. I used Drip for a while because I got mad at AWeber. Then I went back to AWeber. Oh, this is an excellent one. This is an excellent one. Anyone who runs a small business, I hope you're watching this because these these are great ideas. I'm, you know, my whole, I live and breathe marketing. Every, from sun up to sundown is about marketing. And I didn't even think to mention this one. Yeah, I, I'm a big sponsor of them all. I sponsor every, I will donate everything I possibly can to even schools that aren't in my other local schools because if it could get my name, Goodwill, name in there, it comes back. This is an excellent one. You will find anything that you involve yourself with the school. You'll find networks of other business owners and influential people and politicians and all sorts of influential people and business owners that are also parents or involved with the school. And those are good things to be tied with if you're, if you're selling marketing. See, you almost got them free business cards, but you still have a chance for the 9x12 mastery course. If you don't have it already and uh the print from print from scratch guide i don't know probably like a big one but a, like a little local ones probably are they probably just need people i don't know what it cost. i didn't think it really cost much at all maybe it's the big ones macy's day parade or something 
children's sports sponsorships. Excellent. 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 Where's Bob Lell? He ain't here today. Yeah, this is this is 100% right. I will give away cards to anyone. I will I will spend the money on any business that wants business cards. Uh, if if it means looking like a deal, potential deal, we'll give these things away forever. Michelle says parades are free to participate in. Just cost if you want to throw in can. That's good to know. I never, I never, uh, never knew. Do I refresh this? Hang on. Yeah, refresh. It's a great. I never, never thought of this. Give the candy away with the rappers that say your business name or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's doing. George is doing thirty thousand. It's funny because you have people who do five hundred, and it's like the, and then you have people that are like, yeah, let me just, let me just give a shot. I'll, I'll try. There will be times where people will be like, I'll try a hundred thousand. I'll just try it and see what happens. Okay. So a full gamut, full gamut. Get a booth at a flea market and yell at people. That's, I, it's, I don't know if it's free. But it's cheap, probably. Oh, Conrad's here. Wow, that's great. I'm I'm so happy to see you, Conrad. Conrad. Man, he's going. Conrad's going way back. 13 years. Can you imagine that? What's the price per card is for me bundling nine by twelve? This is a good good question. It's it's uh seven cents or eight cents. Eight cents. And the reason why is shipping is i have to ship them generally priority mail to get to the post office there's a lot of factors but it's we only charge about like 50 bucks to prep them we only i only when i factor that in it's about 50 dollars the rest is shipping so they have to be shipped a different way and it's uh sometimes you have multiple if you have multiple post offices it's a pain so it's in essence seven eight cents per piece you have to decide if that's worth it or not. That's a an up to you thing. I feel in most cases it is worth it because especially if you have a good volume of postcards to to do, uh, you can spend an entire day. You can spend a whole day dealing with the post office, just driving there, loading them, unloading them, dealing with the postal clerk who may not know how to process it, may send you, may wait in line, they may be on lunch, you have to come back. There's a lot of, it can take a lot of frustration. I don't, I don't want to discourage anyone from doing any like that, but uh, it, it can be. So even myself, if we're doing anything past, like a, a at the very most, a 10 minute drive. I will not drive to a post office more than 10 minutes away. If it's, if it's a town over, that's going to be 15 minutes. I just ship it. I, we just prep it and ship it and it gets there next day, but it is not worth the hassle and traffic and all time of going and dealing with the post office. So even for myself, I'll ship most of the stuff out. That's not right here. <clears throat> Bruce loves sound print. Of course he does. Oh, you like that. <laughs> I go through hats so much because I'm not good at keeping them on a shelf. And so I'll keep them around the house and then my kids will sit on them or it'll go on a couch and it'll get squashed. And then it bat and then you end up with these like bends here. And once I start seeing those bends, I'm like, yeah, I got to get them in there. Yeah. Oh, you they're coming. Yeah. We might've shipped. No, we didn't ship yours out yet, but almost. Yeah. For the losers. Yes. Lucy. I, I know you wanted to buy one. Yeah. You got to win this one then. Here, I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure this is the link and it's got a funny video too. Oh my God. It's one of my favorite videos. I think it was when I used to make funny sales page videos. I think this is it. Let me check. Uh, I loved making this so much. This is when 
my assistant Carrie and I would literally just, is this it? Yeah. <laughs> Go watch the sales video. Oh, it's so funny. I I miss making these so much. Like the time they almost died. Yeah, that's the link. Highresponsemarketing.com slash print. Wait, where's I gotta put it on here? I used to make those. Oh, that was so funny. We scripted it and stuff, and it has the Scooby-Doo van in it. And uh I was using the payphone. I was, I said, okay, let me use this payphone. You're gonna shoot me across the street. And then the neighbor was yelling at her. He was like, What are you doing? And you're not and then people are honking and stuff. And why are you on that payphone? And then message me on Facebook. I saw you at a payphone with a camera. Like I'm just shooting this freaking video. And then I asked, I said, Where's the I said, let's go to the <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone that sells SEO. But I mentioned in the in the sales video because it's about selling print and how easy it is to sell print. I I go let's go to the SEO the, because there's you're, there's print shops everywhere, right? No matter where you live, you will find print shops that sell print. No matter where you are, there's a print shop, and if there's no print shop, there's a Staples that sells print, and you will find business owners repeatedly in there coming to the stores looking for marketing, right? Looking for brochures and flyers and signs and postcards and letterhead and all sorts of things marketing. They're asking them for advice. What should I put on this? Can you make me something cool? A steady stream of business owners buying print. But there, where's the nearest SEO store? Where's, what if you made an SEO store? What if you made a web design store, right? And just put a sign, you'd have no one. You'd have no, no one would be going to the SEO store. No business owners would be going to the website store. The demand is not anywhere near what there is for print. I'm not saying those are bad. SEO is not bad, website is bad. I'm just saying it is so easy to sell print because the demand is so high. It's every single day there are, there's some business owner in front of the kid at Staples asking what they should put on a, on a flyer. Meanwhile, marketers can't seem to, they go years without even getting one website client. While the 16 year old at the Staples counter is, is offering marketing advice to 50 business owners a day. So in the video, if you watch it, I miss making those so much. I was like, let's go to the nearest SEO store. Where's the, wait, just look it up, let's go. Where's the SEO store? And then I see it, and then I drive by this big building that's, oh, it's right here, right? And then, no, it was a giant printing, a printing business. Like, I thought it was funny. Thank you, Lucy, thank you. Oh, I miss those so much. I miss making those so much. Oh, this, <laughs> it's closed now. I gotta get some last, with the flood, with the flood, the, the tub of socks. The picture of it over there. <laughs> the tub of suds. Oh. Under the picture of what? The description. I did. I risked my life. I got my eye almost got burned out from the sun in one and the bee what did I do with the, the butterfly tick almost got me. I risked I mean, the Moses Fred Moses Tennis Center. I've risked my life many times. And I almost did. We almost almost died when I went in that abandoned house in a bad area, the worst area. And I thought it was abandoned. And it wasn't. There was a person living in there. <laughs> he came out. And I had to use my salesmanship to get us out of it. From getting killed. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, we didn't even <laughs> uh I don't want to downplay the pandemic because I don't, but uh, like we didn't, we still we still hustled through there. What have you seen it? Oh, the business owners? Yeah. They're all they're lined up. Lined up. All these people trying a hard time to sell all these crazy digital marketing stuff they can't sell. Meanwhile, the, the demand for print is sky high. Don't take time. Why are you taking time on this? Use a templated ad and run the same thing on every ad. Like, like this. Like this. Okay? Don't. Don't waste your time. Use a templated ad. Use templated ads. Or hire it out. Hire a Fiverr designer to make something. $10.
Don't put your time into it. Gra I can't tell you how many graphic designers in our 9 by 12 groups have stopped doing graphic design. It's not worth it. Hire it out. Oh, yeah, the mental. Oh, I miss these so much. Where's Carrie Lee? I wish she was on here. Carrie moved to Virginia. I still try to rope her back. We made the craziest videos. That's so much fun. Those are those, so much fun. That's what I got to do instead of emailing all day. <laughs> By the way, yeah. Huh? There you go. Go contact Bruce. He'll hook you up. Yeah, this is another one. It's bandit signs. Yeah. It's like, uh, this reminds me of Tom. Do you guys remember the Tom Green show? This this reminds me of that, where Tom, the Tom Green show had, uh, I think he called it Undercutter's Pizza, and he had a fishing tackle box, like, like fishing tackle box, and he had all sorts of toppings in it, like pepperoni and cheese, and he would follow the, like the Domino's Pizza guy or whoever. He'd follow them, and as they pulled up, to the people's house to deliver, he'd run out and undercut undercut them. A run up and we, he'd he'd ask what toppings they had. He'd have the pizza and he put the toppings. And the delivery driver's all upset. Undercutters pizza. You guys remember that? That was brilliant. This is what that reminded me of. Spell check the Fiverr one. Yeah, yeah, you will have to spell check these. <laughs> You're 100% right there, Chelsea. Who else has saw this? Is this? Am I the only one that ever saw that show? Oh. <laughs> custom invoice book. I don't do that. I'll do NCR forms for you, but a custom invoice book, like, uh, um, I just buy them at Staples. I have, I have one for cash receipts. I don't know where it is. It doesn't matter. Okay, we should do another. Wait, who put a? Oh, she put that there. We should do another contest, right? Yeah, we should definitely do another contest. Let's do the. Let's do the print from scratch. Okay, print from scratch. Someone's gonna win print from scratch. Let me set it up. Oh, I love this. I I gotta watch this video again. I haven't seen it in so long. I'm on this. I'm on the. <laughs> I'm on the. God, I gotta share it. Oh, those were such good times. I haven't seen that in so long. How do I share it? Where's the window, right? Wait, it's here. Where is it? Chrome tab. Oh, I miss this so much. I don't know if you can hear the videos. Is that my boss? Is that my boss? Is that Jake? Oh, that was so funny. Oh, you, you, caught, you caught me at a good time. I was just taking an order. <laughs> cell phone i miss that so much or on the pay phone and then i was in front of this the um the then this guy came out and harassed us so we got harassed at the pay phone and then we got harassed here i don't remember why but i just said we got to shoot that somewhere and then we went to the to find the seo store that's carrie lynn if you guys remember her she lives in virginia beach now or somewhere near it she's got, I gotta get her back Oh, they have that in front of Staples. Then I go that in front are of Staples in. talking about I what I just told you. I miss that so Super. much. Business owners are in my backyard. Oh. oh, yeah. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh. Did you guys hear that? Oh, that's my pager. I don't know if you I can hear the audio, but that was my pager. <laughs> oh, those are good times. I'm laughing at myself. Laughing at myself. Then we got to give away. We got to give away print from scratch because we have such a good turnout today. Car remembers that wasn't that good that was brilliant he would follow the pizza guy and then as the guy was running up with the pizza he'd run up to the person's door and say undercutters pizza and he would undercut their price and had all the toppings on a in a fishing thing yeah did you see the pager did you hear it i couldn't tell if you could hear it i don't know if anyone will remember what that pager sound was the pager i actually had a beeper um, because when I was selling home improvements and this is in the late two thousands, we used to use them. It was the most efficient way to, it was a long, it was a closing process and you'd page the, the, and it, but yeah, I used them up until like 2009 or something. Use the pager. 
I think doctors might still actually use them because they get signal anywhere. Oh, you heard it. Yeah. Does anyone know what that what that is? Does anyone recognize it? I wonder if anyone recognizes what that was. Government issued pager. Nice. <laughs> the what was the hit me on the hip? Remember that? Hit me on the hip. <laughs> and then you could page different messages and stuff. What a wild time. Yes, Josh had it right. It was Kim Possible. He had it right. <laughs> Kim Possible and Ron Stoppable. I gotta I gotta uh rig the contest so Josh wins it. <laughs> the pager. You missed the Kim Possible sound. Yes, the pager. Oh, those were good times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ron Stoppable, remember? And send your senior senior and the the naked mole rat. That was one of the that was one of the best bangers, the uh, Kim Possible song and the iCarly song. I'm pretty sure in another life I'm like a girl who watches these shows. I just can <laughs> iCarly remember those songs and uh, Kim Possible. Yeah, she's there. <laughs> oh, I miss those times. Yeah, she, no, she will. She mark my words, she will. She's in uh she's not in Virginia Beach. Her boyfriend works for Virginia Beach remotely, but she's in Suffolk and she works in Newport News. She works in she's got she's got a terrible job in in I shouldn't say that. She graduated, she got her masters. So she's worked for me for 5 years. She's like my right-hand man and then she got her masters and got a job at Newport News, which we later found out was like no one else wanted the job. So it was kind of a crappy job. She just sits in an office and she don't she sits in the office and looks up satellite images or something. They live in Suffolk, but Newport News, I guess, isn't the best area. So it's not Virgi technically Virginia Beach. Uh, I have faith she'll come back. She gave up a job just shooting videos all day, shooting videos. And where are we going to go and shoot some stupid video and editing um, to go do that? And I think she probably regrets it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell her that. Wait, I <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wait, I got to screenshot that to her. Hang on. Let me go. Let me. And then I'll do this thing. I promise. Hang on. Wait, I got to screenshot that because it was so funny. I got to screenshot that to her. I'll forget. And then I'm going to run this for, for a print from scratch. We're having a great time here. I sent that to her. <laughs> for Eustace. Drake and Josh, that was a great one. Okay, let's, wait, I gotta put the giveaway. We're giving away print from scratch. Let's do that. Print, how do I do it? Stop screen, share screen, giveaway tool, share. Print money, just, uh, Hashtag print money. Just put that on there and I'm going to run that and someone's going to win the print from scratch guide. Hi, Stacy. Oh, that's, that's, that's Stacy. You're getting your nine by 12 samples today. I think maybe you have them. Who's going to get this? Who's going to get it? I got to put that. Kim Possible sound on the on here. Wait, I gotta do this. Wait. How do I put how do I put myself there? Wait, does it do it? <laughs> oh, that's too good. There's more. There's more, but I don't remember them all. This one. This one. Oh, this I would love to have a video on this. Let me make sure I have this, this one up here. 
So everyone's hitting hashtag print money. I've heard in parameters, do you think less is more? Yeah. Well, gen generality less is it, la minimal because you have to be able to read it. There's such a thing as too much. I come across this all the time where postcards are just jam full of text and it would, no one's going to read it. No one is going to read it. Uh, people are going to throw it out because there's just too much on it. So it takes a lot of restraint to not put too much stuff. You only want what should be there and that's it. So yes, in general, yes. You should be able to look at a postcard and instantly just tell what it is and if it's, inf if it's valuable or interesting. There should be a deal that's attractive. There should be instantly tell you what it's about. And if you want more information, you can go online. You can scan a QR code, you can contact. Those are the best postcards. I'm not sure if I have a great example of that just sitting right here. This is, this is great. This is a great one. And I can't pull up the thing, but where, where is it? Uh, this, he just told me, I'm trying to find it. He commented on here saying he did his first EDDM with me this winter. He commented on a recent video. Uh, by first week of March, he was booked into July. So that's that's Matthew Hallen, and I think he has a YouTube channel too. I wish I knew it. I would shout him out. I don't know if I have another card he sent too. But this is a great example of that, and obviously he's getting a lot of great business from it. Because it's very, it's it's right to the point. It's just mole removal. See results in a week. This is perfect. This is a perfect example of a of a minimal postcard that has just what you need on it. The mole mole removal. See results in a week. Safe around pets. This is like this is like perfectly made. This is a great example of that. Outstanding example of that. Oh, hell, I'll, I'll agree with that. Less tax. Oh, I hate taxes. IRS had me for a hundred grand at one point. A hundo. You can't see that? Oh, I'll pull, I'll, I'll, uh, how do I put myself up here? Right there. Can you see it? Perfect. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, Matthew Hallinan, but this is an, just an excellent example of a postcard that gets right to the point. You can tell exactly what this is about. No, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. This is perfect. Same thing, both sides. Where is his? Here, I can put. I can't. Well, I would. Sh he commented on a thing the other day and said he was booked. Did my first EDM with Jake this winter. By the first week of March, I was booked till July. So that gives you a, an idea of why it works. We gonna pull. We gonna run this. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win it? Well, I better put the screen on. Let's see who's gonna win. Who's gonna be this lucky winner? Uh, you gotta email Jaden though, cause I'll never do it. Email Jaden. J at printing for super. Jaden at printing. Bob Bomez. I don't know who you are, Bob, but you entered and you won. I hope you use. I hope you use this guide and make some money in print. It's gonna be a lifetime income. That's one thing I love about print. Among many things, is someone buys print from you. It can be a customer for you'll have for the next twenty years. They'll continue to buy print, business cards. It runs out. Flyers, brochures, signs, all sorts of signage. Yeah, if you live in an area with the, someone just, I don't remember who it is, but just, I just learned about pine straw. I guess that's a big thing is pine straw. We have mulch here. I'm just used to mulch, but there's like, there's things in geographic areas that are a nuisance or just something you commonly deal with. Like if the, maybe the moles, I don't know. We have woodchucks, so it's probably a similar thing. Places with termites. You don't want the scorpions in your house and stuff. You call this. Scorpion remover. Bob Bomez. Good job. You got to email, email Jaden. There you go. 
I use streamyard.com. I should be making money on the affiliate. Streamyard.com. Love it. Love it. You can buy it by going to this link. I think it's pretty reasonably priced. I undercharge everything. I undercharge so much. Highresponsemarketing.com slash print. You watch the video. Have a few laughs. I'm going through some of these comments that I might not have. He has a good and good a good read again. Brad says, I want to, you know, I'm two and a half weeks selling. Brad says, hey, Jake, I want to let you know that I'm two and a half weeks into selling up my first card and have 13 out of 16 spaces sold and a ton of uh, follow to sell out the rest by early next week. I'm going to screenshot that because I'm going to send that out. Where is it? I'm going to put that in the screenshot. That is great to hear, Brad, and I am so happy and proud of you. You must be doing things right. I'm assuming you bought the course because if you're selling out ads that fast, you you have a good system. You have some kind of system going on or you're just a super hustler because that's where you should be. Two and a half weeks. I always say two weeks. If you do everything right, two weeks, but you give yourself another week. You give yourself another one to two weeks, really, enough time with your deadline so that if it extends another week or even two weeks, you still have time. But you are pretty much exactly where you need to be. I am so proud of you, super proud, super proud. If you want to offer any tips to people or what, if you could sum up your success, if you could sum your success up on this and offer some kind of one sentence thing to others, go, go for it. Dan, you were so close too. <laughs> you want the bass hat. <laughs> Good. Ship it all the way to Hawaii. I've sold a bunch of EDMs to Hawaii lately. I don't know if I mentioned that last last week. I've done like five or six in the last. It's weird. I don't know why. Like all of a sudden, Hawaii. Yeah, right there. Lucy. High response marketing dot com slash print. Sports. You sports. You know all about that. He, Corey's always doing stuff for his his local sports teams. What baseball? And that is an excellent strategy. If you don't win that, yeah, discount. How much is it? It's not even that much. Am I overpricing it? I thought I had that thing real cheap. Yeah, you probably, because I only, there's, when, when Carrie Lynn was my assistant in summers. So she worked for me from summers and, and breaks for four or five, for four years, four summers and breaks. We put out a product every single week. If you remember for years, I would put out a guide every single week. Every Friday, I would release a new guide. I'd shoot the videos. I would we'd do it all in every single week. I'd make some kind of small guide on different things. And we did that for years. So these are things that I never, I'd promote them once. And then I just be on to the next. And they're, they're great. Like I forget about them all the time. I just, so they just, they get promoted once and then you never see them again. It's stupid on my part because I don't, I don't continuously sell them, but I just had to make to put in that volume and it was a lot of fun. Oh, that's it's easy. $49. Jesus Christ. That's like nothing now too. Funny because it used to be like, 50, Jake, how am I going to make 50000 50000 Now it's 100000 After Post-pandemic, it went from like, I got to make 50000 a year to 100000 a year. I, I swear the costs have gone so high. Give away stickers. Exactly. Give away some stickers. This is an excellent strategy. It's even better than business cards, really, because it's cheaper. 100%. There you go. I don't know. I stopped thinking about Craigslist so long. I know it's still there, but I don't look on it, so I'm, it's off my radar. Don't know. Don't know. <laughs> I featured my own comment. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry, I was going through. I didn't even realize those were from a little bit ago. I got to do the big one. Where the big one in? Good job, Bob. Yeah, you won. You won that. Uh, okay, sounds good. Wait, let me let me tell her. Hang on. 
I just saw your comment now, Chelsea. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Streamyard. Heck yeah. Ooh, nice. Well, not the complaint part. We gonna give this big one away? I do miss when I first did the live shows, they were on I, the very first ones. 2017 is when I first started doing the live show. They were on my phone. The problem is it reversed things, but you could see the comments. I don't know if it did that because my hands. It, you could see the comments while I talk. I could look right in the screen and see the comments. I do miss that a little bit. Now I got to look to the left. Do it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is good. I have to remind myself that all the time too. Um, most of my employees have been here for, for many years. Five years, five years, five years, two years. I, I Almost everyone. And you can go back to 2010, 2011. I've always had employees, always. I've never been without employees, always had employees. Uh, you will, uh, average length of time has got to be five years average like all uh very strong st strong staff good work environment everyone has been here for years i pay i'm big on paying um i'm always just making sure everyone is okay uh it's yeah nice nice that's how he did it that's summed up summed up in one word he fouled every everything to the d that's how you did it. Yeah, I don't know. There's something else that went away. I'll talk about next show that was really good that I wish come back. Facebook from my email info pack. Nice. This is perfect. We're gonna give away a whole. Some lucky winner is gonna get the whole, the whole, the big, the big horse. All five. <laughs> oh, I love that one. That course is my mastery course I made. It took me like seven months to make it because I just said, I'm going to make something. I hadn't sold anything. It was like, really, I always undervalue things. I still undervalue that, but I was like, okay, I got to make something that's like two grand. And it's just my best stuff, like the best stuff, like everything covers every topic, best information I have, very best, really, really stuff and how to make hundred thousand plus a year, not just like one, one system. Here's how to make this or, but how to make like really big or how to take people who are spending a lot of money and give them very big returns, how to sell something that's $10,000 to someone, $50,000 services to someone. If someone were to say, I have a hundred thousand dollar dollars in marketing that I'm willing to do in marketing. Can you help me? This course delivers that it shows you what to do. So it's, it covers that area of things for when you're kind of at a, at a, you're doing okay in marketing and you need to reach these higher levels. That's what that is. And I don't do a good, I promoted that once or twice and that was it. Um, but it's probably my favorite. It's probably my, my most favorite course. Good. Small communities work great. I'm in the small one myself too. Yeah, I have, it's so sad because I have the March one and now it's like late March and I have it. I literally just have to like put it up. That's all I have to do. And I, I can't find, Jaden was out for a couple days with uh she had to have tubes in her ears. So Jane's 25 years old. I had to have tubes in her ears, like a little child, but she's okay. She's just come, she's just coming back now. So it was just really hard. Um, it was hard to find time in the day to get that out. It's, it's really sad because I, ha I have it. I had last month's too, and I just never found an hour of time to post it up. Yeah. Oh, I love that one too. Ugh. There's a, a supersonic marketer. Remember that? Supersonic market. And one these guys probably don't even remember these. It's all things. I know. I really got to get this out. It's a, this weekend would be the last chance I have to get it out. Let's give, let's do the giveaway for the nine by 12 system. And then, then we'll, 
will I'll almost be done. I'm setting it up right now. Someone's gonna win this. Who's gonna win? It's it's hashtag nine by twelve. Just hit hashtag nine by twelve and someone's gonna win the nine by twelve system. Why does it got that bar in there? Oh, it's because of this. I see. It's because of this. I gotta have Anthony Salazar. Where's he? I gotta have him on the email me like a little child. <laughs> Here's your popsicle. When you do ear pain, she got. Um, I didn't know you had ten kids, Lucy. Is that true? I didn't know that. I didn't know you were another one of us. <laughs> um. Well, Jay's been, I don't know, she's been going to the ENT as like constantly bothering, it's like something that's been bothering her for, for a long time, you know, a year, at least a year, at least a year it's been bugging her. And they said that she's got to have tubes. Who's going to win this? I'm thinking Dan Johnson. He's been, I got to hit the rig button. I got to hit the Jorge's here, Gaston's here. Supreme Nation Entertainment might get it. Hey, here we go. Here with a bunch of moon bats up in the heck <laughs> is a moon bat. I know. I know. and it's a ugh, March is probably my favorite one. So I got I really got to get it out this weekend. I did not know Tor makes eleven. <laughs> Yes, bulletin boards, bulletin board. Let me put, let me enhance this one. How do I do it? This way. Bulletin boards, community board, you know, put your business card, put a flyer up. These things can work. Some banks have them. Post offices almost always have them. There's so many places you can put that, those kind of things in there. You have bandit signs. You can put them up on the telephone poles. They even... They even have a thing you can take like a pole and a stapler and you can staple the bandit sign up on the pole so people can't take them off. I have a local painting guy I do signs for and these work so good for him. They work great. The cat buy homes for cash now type things works great. Uh, I'm going to pick this winner and then I'm going to give you just a couple more cheap ways to advertise and we're going to get, get out of here has entered the chat what's some more what's some more things the let me get rid of the this here cheap ways to advertise facebook groups village groups those are great as long as you have permissions are great free places to advertise social media in general very cheap ways to advertise um bni those type of things chamber of commerce those are great windshield putting things under windshields Long sleep. See, there you go. Guerrilla marketing. Bartering. I think you meant barter. Yeah. Should I run this? We got enough people here? Yeah, I think. I don't see anyone else entering it. So who is going to win this? You can't win twice, though. So if you already won, you can't win twice. Who's going to win the big one? Yes. All right. Let's, let's see. Who's going to win this? Who is it? Hopefully someone with a face on here. Oh, Ernie almost won. Michelle, who comments on here? So Michelle, I wanted someone with a freaking face on it. It's like I put a face to the person. You came so close. Samson came close still. I didn't see you on there, Samson. Were you on there? But BNI's 500, I didn't know that. I don't know, I don't join those things. I don't have time for those things. Maybe it's not so cheap. Nice, okay, yeah. Perfect. You won. You won, Michelle. Send me an email. Send Jaden an email. Send Jaden, Michelle. Michelle, send Jaden at, where are you, Michelle? At printingforsupercheap.com. And she will hook you up. She just clocked out, so I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get it, but she'll uh if send her an email she'll get it to you tonight or tomorrow morning i know it's probably a bot 
I'd probably set it up as a bot so I wouldn't have to give away the the, the thing. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it again next week. Maybe we'll do another one next week. Maybe that's the way you win it. You don't put a freaking face on the thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Great job, Michelle. Great. Fantastic job here. What does Corey say? I used my previous 9 by 12 as my business card. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, Corey's, Corey's done a couple biz- 9 by 12s I think. Sells print. Let me tell Jake. God, who's this now? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I got cut up at the text. Okay. Um, finger red number one. Oh, you're just too late, Gary. You just missed it. You just missed it. Any others before we go? What else we got? Um. Did I, I wrote a couple, of, everyone got these things. Yeah. Referrals. Oh, wait, there, there's another one. <laughs> I forgot about one. <laughs> Referrals, right? Referrals are, are a cheap way to advertise. Referrals are funny because you don't, you have, especially when you're selling print, I guarantee you have, um, you have, uh, connections you have friends that work in an office you have friends that work with a doctor that work with someone that orders print okay every office under the sun orders letterhead and envelopes and stationery and business cards you have friends that work in these places almost every local business virtually every single local brick and mortar business buys print business cards brochures folders rec cards signs, banners, they buy print all the time. You have these connections. You just don't, you don't think of it. If you start mentioning you sell print, you do printing, the, the deals come to you like crazy. The moment you mention it, you're at the dentist and they say, what do you do? I do printing. Oh, I need this. You do really? Do you have this? Do you have that? Oh wait, do you have this? Do you do that? It's like being a lawyer and someone says, what do you do? And I'm a lawyer. And now you get bombarded with, oh, what do I do with there? Or you're an auto mechanic. Oh, I got this flashing light on there. What do I do here? It's almost to the point where you're scared to say it because you get, you know, now you're going to be talking about freaking printing for, for 15 minutes. I mean, they're deals, but it does get tiring after a while, but it's good to, if you're not in that position yet, it's good to get in that position. So referrals are actually a fantastic source of business for print. They're all over. They're all over. Oh my God. Am- <laughs> um, it probably is. That was a great story. That was a great, um, she was crying on the, on the video and stuff, which is as I'm laughing at now, but it wasn't fun. She was like homeless. Amber was like a student, but she bought my course, like bought my course with whatever money she had and her and her kids and her husband were homeless and they were living at like her mom's and they were dead. She didn't have cell phone service in the house. So she had to go in like the, the, the horse stalls and she filled out, she started filling car, cards by calling from the back like horse stables where there was service and would have to fill these cards up by the phone and she made a whole i said you should, really should document this process and she did and it was a good it was a good product but that was a, a long time ago so i don't know if there's information in it's out i don't really remember it's it was just been a while but that was a great uh she really hustled she hustled super hard Monica is also, for those of you who know, Monica who's on bed rest filling these cards out, is also putting out another course. I just have to look at it, like an updated. Not sure. Probably. They probably should. No, I, I can't include the local marketing masterclass in that one. It's too expensive. Yes, Brad said that he just follows the course. He mentioned it in a comment up above somewhere. This it's uh, I I can't give it to you because it was her course. 
I'm not sure if it's still for sale. And I'm not sure if there's a, like a sales page that still has it, but that was the story if you just heard from it. The, the sales video might still be on like YouTube or something. I do have... Uh, no, because I'm, I'm, it's getting late in the show and I don't, um, I'm sorry. Yours should be there any day though. Literally should be there any day. I just sent them out like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. And there's Monica's too, where she was on bed rest, which is wild. She was on bed rest, like literally couldn't leave the bed twice. Uh, another one is he's been on podcast a couple times is Matthew who did, uh, multiple cards. He ended up selling his nine by 12 business. That's a really good story. I should have him on here too. He was homeless living in a van with his, with his dog and his wife and spent like his last 40 bucks on the, on the nine by 12 course and ended up making a, making a huge success out of it. Those were really great. If you listen to all his podcasts, they're really good. Yeah. You remember that? Oh no, it wasn't that long, long time ago. Monica is, I have, and she's actually, she's so sweet, but she made a complete updated course. And she's like, Jake, do you mind if I sell this course? Like, I'd like to make an updated one because there's a lot of demand. And I, I'm like, yeah, definitely. I will promote it. I just have to check it over. And it's been like two weeks. And she just emailed me yesterday. And she's like, I'm, she's like, I totally understand. Just look at it when you can. And so I, I just have to look at it. Monica turned off, like, I think she stopped selling one because she couldn't, Monica's like values her time ex extremely well. Like she, she values time and family. And when you sell products like this, you get bombarded with emails. You get everyone under the sun emailing you for advice and it, that's great, but it will, it mentally just when you're spending hours a day helping people and you're just answering emails, you end up just, you know, that every sale you make, you're going to get people asking more questions and, and you end up spending your whole time consulting with them and it's it's so she ended up having to turn it off because there she just couldn't handle the emails that were coming in yeah she's great and her podcasts are fantastic so i should probably yeah this is true um what's funny is he sold his because he it was on autopilot the card was just filling itself for years and one of his advertisers ended up doing like their own targeted mailing and he was making like 15 grand a month profit. Okay. It's a huge mailing. So he gets this advertiser on there that says, I want to do my own mailings. And he's doing like super high volume and he's making like 15 grand a month or some, something like that just from this one advertiser's mailing. And he just ended up selling the bit nine by 12 business, sold that for God knows how much and like lives off this one customer that he got off of it yeah yeah i know i'm i'm excited to have that out it's really just me i gotta get the banger out and i gotta get her thing out i also had curtis's political course that i'm supposed to help get out um yeah yeah there's a lot she could do yeah so that's it I had a great time with everyone. I had a fantastic time. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you joining. It's great to see all of you. We, I will see you next Thursday, same time. We'll do some more contests. The contests are so much fun. See everyone, my, I'm, my throat's starting to dry up. I got to go. I got to go turn my pager on. <laughs> see you guys.